Hey everybody, Chris, your local cardboard crazy guy with you today. Um, so today I picked up some stuff from a local guy that I just met for the first time today. And I'm in the process right now of trying to um, get the stuff um, a little more organized, I guess you would say. Um, let me kind of pull this stuff together here. But anyways, um, so I met this guy. He messaged me. I had a Facebook ad out. He messaged me on it and told me he'd like to meet. Thought I might have some, he may have some stuff that I would want. So we met up and bought some cards from him. Um, looking for one specific card that I don't see. Um, it may be in here somewhere, but anyways. Um, so to kind of give you a rundown of what I bought from this guy, there it is. We're sitting underneath some stuff. Um, most of you know that I'm a Cardinals fan and know that I love my St. Louis Cardinals. So I'm going to show you some stuff that I picked up from this guy. Really nice guy. Um, unfortunately my daughter got a little squeamish while we were there and we had to, to leave a little quicker than we wanted to necessarily. But while I was there, I picked up this box of beat up but still full of unopened packs of the 89 Fleer baseball. We're going to be looking for the Billy Ripken obscene card in this. Then he threw in a couple of other boxes for me. One was this uh, 1990 Fleer. Still closed, sealed. Not in the cellophane, but still sealed. And then this um, Donruss, this is from 88, 89. I can't remember which one to be exact, but got that. So some of the cards that I bought from them, and again, we had to cut it kind of short, but I'm gonna show you some of the base cards. I got this Topps rookie card of Adam Wainwright and there are four of them. I got a first Bowman card of Matt Carpenter, a Bob Gibson tops stars spotlights, uh, Ozzy Smith from archives, uh, Stan Musial from archives, uh, the Upper Deck Masterpieces of Bob Gibson and Ozzy Smith. Then I got this Albert Pujols. Um, I don't know what year this is. I'm not sure what year this is, and I'm, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it. But I got this Albert Pujols from Tom's Heritage. Uh, 87 Donruss of Ozzy Smith. An Upper Deck Masterpiece of Pujols. Another Pujols Masterpiece. Uh, Ozzy Smith Masterpiece where he's turning the backflip. Another of those. Um, I got this Pujols from Upper Deck. And this is from 2008. I got a Don Russ 92 of Ozzy Smith. This is an all star card. Um, a Bowman Albert Pujols from I uh, can't really see. Looks like it says 2002. So it would have been a second year card. Uh, Tops Gold, 2002 of Pujols, second year card. 
um, this leaf, Albert Pujols, um, Donruss Classics 2002 of Pujols, uh, Heritage, Yadier Molina, uh, another Heritage of Yadier Molina, or Yadier, however you want to pronounce it, um, an Exponential of Pujols, an Archives of Stan Musial, another Archives of Stan Musial, an Archives of Bob Gibson, uh, an archive or heritage of Mark Mulder, a uh, heritage of Jim Edmonds, another couple of heritage Pujolses, uh, JD Drew from Heritage, Reggie Sanders from Heritage, uh, Scott Rowland from Heritage, Larry Walker from Heritage. Uh, Jim Edmonds from Heritage. Then I got a 2007 Alan Ginner, uh, Yadier Molina, a 2007 Chris Carpenter, a 1990 All Star of Ozzy Smith, 91 Tops, Ozzy Smith, 92 Fleer, Ozzy Smith, 87 Tops, Ozzy Smith, 89 Bowman of Ozzy Smith. Uh, Vince Coleman, rookie card. Uh, this six, 1964 Red Sheen Deist. Uh, uh, Hall of Fame Heroes from Diamond Kings, 05 of Ozzy Smith. 05 Diamond Kings, Bob Gibson. 05 Diamond Kings, Stan Musial. A upper deck from... 89 of Ozzy Smith, another backflip in Ozzy Smith, and then a 1991 Stadium Club, Ozzy Smith. Then a few of the better cards, uh, even though some of those were pretty decent, a few of the better cards I got were, I got this 1970 Tops PSA 6 of Steve Carlton. Really excited about that one. Show you the back of it. He sold this to me for four dollars. Granted, it's a six, but nineteen seventy. I mean, if you look at it, you the the only thing that I see is it's got a couple of fuzzy corners uh, or dings, and then it's got a little bit of off center and right to left. I'm sorry, left to right. Um. But it still looks really nice for a 1970. Colors are still really rich. The border um, gray looks good. The blacks look good. So I'm really excited about this card. I'm glad to have this in my collection. Then we have this 1991 Tops Traded of Yvonne Rodriguez. Graded 9 by Sports Collector Digest. Um, this is his rookie card. Show you the back. Man, that back looks really crisp. It's like super, super slick. Um, nice card. Uh, glad to have that one. Then he had a couple of top loaded cards. I'm going to take these off camera real quick just so that I can kind of get them to where I wanted them uh, as far as what I was going to show. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, he, he knew that I was a Cardinals fan, so he threw in this Mark McGuire, uh, Bowman's Best, Ozzy Smith, uh, another Mark McGuire, uh, Top Stars, Walk of Fame, Mark McGuire, uh, a Fleer Ultra Award winner, Ozzy Smith, this Colby Rasmus, uh, Allen and Ginner from, I can't tell, 2010. Then he ha gave me this uh, Upper Deck Icons, Pujols, another award winner of Ozzy Smith. Then a couple of the bigger cards. Um, I got this, well, I got this Willie McGee rookie. I got uh, 
Got this for Chad. This is a Tony Perez le Legendary Lumberjacks from 2001 Donruss Classics. Uh, this is a bat piece. And then the two big ones, I'm going to take these off and show them, to, show them to you one at a time so you don't see both of them together. This first one is a Topps Tony Gwynn rookie card. And if you look at it, this thing is in really, really good condition. Bought that for $4. And then the last card is this 1984 rookie card of Don Mattingly from Topps. Now this one's a little less uh, pristine. Um, the top left corner is, is kind of dinged on it. The bottom right corner looks a little soft, but the top right and the bottom left look pretty decent. Um, this may get a six or 6.5, seven, seven at the best, but it's a, uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice card. Bought it for $4 as well. So two big name rookie cards, Hall of Fame rookie cards for uh, $8. I can't complain at all with that. So anyways, um, like I said, we had to leave kind of early. My daughter got a little squeamish while we were out there. She started feeling bad. Um, it is hot today, and she was kind of hanging out, doing her own thing while we were doing this, and she was like, Dad, I don't feel good. So we just decided we'd get back together later, and we'd do some more. So um, be looking for some more stuff um, as far as this guy's concerned. Um, we're going to meet later and hopefully get some more uh, stuff done. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, be a blessing to somebody. Most of all, I hope God blesses you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again later. So, just a little update. I just opened the FLIR baseball box. Um, when going through that, I did find... Um, let me show you them. I found the Randy Johnson corrected error card. For those of you that don't know, the... Back backfield board back here had or the outfield board had a Marlboro ad on it, and Flair later went on to uh, take that off. So this is the corrected version. So I'm assuming that this set was printed a little later. Also found the Ken Griffey Jr. Flair rookie card in this box, and then I found yeah you know what it is. The Billy Ripken obscene card but this one so you can tell has been corrected there's like five or six variations of this card one of the regular print one with the black box one with the white box one with the erased and I think one with like a white scribble or black scribble through it so there's quite a few different variations but this is the black sensor box over the knob of the bat there you can see it um Try to get it out of the glare. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. But, uh, anyways, just thought I'd add that in.